Since it was first proposed in 2013, the Belt and Road Initiative has grown into a well-received international public good and an important platform for building a community with a shared future for mankind. Experts in various countries have spoken highly of the BRI, saying China has made great efforts to facilitate the implementation of the initiative. China's major achievements linked with the Belt and Road Initiative can be summarized into formulating a systematic and sustainable development strategy of the country, as well as setting the goals for the historical process of the Chinese nation. It is remarkable that in order to implement the Belt and Road Initiative, China has taken serious measures to increase its technological level and competitiveness, strengthen its national currency, facilitate international settlement, and ensure the stability of transport routes. Over the past nine years, China has signed BRI cooperation documents with over 140 countries and more than 30 international organizations. Experts say the China proposed initiative has brought tangible benefits to people of other countries. Within the Belt and Road Initiative, we get good funding. China afforded us new markets. It afforded us new, easily accessible funding for our development. It afforded us uh, opportunities in the education sector in order to build our capacity as a continent and also afford the continent uh, affordable technology. That, you know, not be limited in China, but it is also a gift for, for the other countries, uh, especially in infrastructure development, in port development, and also aviation development and other networks, okay? That even encourage regional you know, integration in Africa and also other, in other uh, areas. The uh, Belt and Road has transformed the movement of goods and people uh, across the land. And that's opened up a whole new set of ways of getting goods from Asia to Europe and Europe to Asia. The concept of BRI is to uh, develop the world effectively for mankind. It's transnational, it's not thinking of a single country, China, it's thinking of the, of the whole area of the world. I'm very admiring of the Belt and Road Initiative because it is one way in which developing countries, especially those that are landlocked, that don't have any entrance to uh, the sea or to other infrastructure can can develop right so i'm hugely hugely admiring of uh, of that